Yeah, obviously they had a sort of a, a play that they run earlier in the set. They did it on last and got a good try on that on that last tackle. Uh, but I thought we were, uh, I thought we were playing still quite solid footy. That was three minutes in. But after that, I thought we were we were quite good. Um, they came with a, a spoiling tactic in the ruck. You could sort of see that they tried to pile lots of numbers in and, um, and and use that. And I thought we did okay in the first half, but we sort of moved around a bit too much. Whereas second half, I felt like we adapted really well. We were patient. Um, and then we adapted to that and then got our rewards uh, on their tactics. So I thought I liked the fact that we could adapt within the game, work it out, what they were doing, and then adapt our footy to it. Whilst doing that, we were defending really well the whole game. Um, so I thought that was, uh, that was positive. Yeah, well, I, th I thought the work uh, was done by the... the the, like Tupu and Morris and Tedesco and then the middle forwards and then that created enough space for either edge to, to go and take advantage of it and, um, and they're good and they will if, if you offer some space. So um, we probably missed some opportunities in that first half. I think there was a couple there where... Uh, was that first half where Roger knocked it down? Was that first half when he did that, I think, back on the inside? Uh, I think there was one other... Uh, that we could have executed. Uh, I think Radley back on the inside, close to the line. There was a couple there where we could have, but second half we nailed it. Um, so the positivity to stay in it right throughout the game was good. Must excite you, Trent, when you see Luke and Latrell thinking like they do so well down that left edge as well? Yeah, I think there's a, obviously a close bond over a few years now there. And um, uh, the thing is, I like the bond that they've created through defensive work. And then when, once they've earned the right, then they go and attack like they do. And you, I think you saw Luke, he got the ball in the middle of the field at the back end of the game and there was two or three guys in between, but he found Luttrell on a long ball out there and, and that's when you know that there's a, um, that there's a link. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think obviously the cohesion. Like, w I think people can overstate um, what coaches do. Like, we think we're here to invent everything, but all we need to do is create training sessions to allow those guys to go and invent stuff. Like, we the the bond between players is what's most important. I think we get ahead of ourselves as coaches, and people think too much of us. But our job is to create an environment where they can create those bonds and form that combination. And that's, you know, most of the stuff, obviously we come up with some of the stuff, but it's those guys, their, their bond, their combination that decides. So the more time you are together, the better it'll come. Has that been a progression in terms of leaving it a bit in player scenes a bit more now? Oh, no, I just think that's natural um, ability of coaches. We've got really good coaches here that spend a lot of time, hours and hours as, as much as anybody, but allowing, uh, you know, if you try and over control that is what I'm saying and you think that I will get it started, then you're missing the point. It's the conversations that they have. It's the time that they spend together. You can be with each other for 10 years and not form a great combination. Or you can be together for a shorter period of time, have great um, conversation that sort of over lunch or a coffee or on a bus or whilst you're going to play golf together or doing that, that they're the ones that really count. You know, so it's finding guys that are like each other, form a bond, but think very similar footy and having those conversations. Now, what's a coach got to do with that? Selection of players, um, training style, but leaving space for them to decide what's going to happen. And I think our coaches have done really well in allowing them to, to make decisions. Yeah, I won't talk about the tackle, but it got, it didn't get better. You know, usually it's a hit and you think, oh, it'll recover, but it actually, he actually got worse the longer the game went. Um, and he's OK, but that's, it was an interesting one because I think you've got to get him off straight away. So when someone goes to the bin, but it's something that progress, progressively gets tighter and sorer, then um, we just had to get him off. The, the, the orange shirt, Trav said, you know, you're going to need to get him off. So, um, yeah. So we had to. <clears throat>
he's okay, but but not good enough to to continue the game. Oh no! I think it was more back and neck. Yeah. yeah. No, no. I saw it once. You know, I think I'll leave the opinion up to someone else there. I think I have to as well. Was your was your heart in your mouth when you see Cooper cop something in the back, given what he had last year? And was yeah, it's probably back. flashed through my mind on that one. Just because of seeing him down there like that. I would watch the play and then I came back. I didn't see what happened. I was watching the play. And then to see Cooper there like that, yeah, you, the, there is a split second of thought there. Um, but, yeah. Rob, I don't want to harp the point itself just now. What made it that this week, Latrell and the way he stood up and showed leadership, but the way he responded, not responded, the way he played today, does that also sort of show his real leadership and the mature man he is now that he's able to... Yeah, I think uh, I've been very impressed with him because that's a my thing with, as a coach is to um, to to make sure that he is not carrying the weight of the week into the game. No matter what's happened to you, we've got to go out and play football, and it's not it's not this week and then it's finished. It's it's his whole life, but his ability to clear his energy, get light again, and then go out and play is really important. And he did that. Um, as well as a few other guys this week. So um, it's a pretty important lesson in, in life. But he, I thought he did really well this week in dealing with it, um, making a call and then being really positive about the way he was going to play. Thanks.